My alligators recently got married. I now pronounce you guys husband and wife. So Sonny, you can kiss the bride. The second Sonny dipped his toe into married life and exchanged vows with Chompers, the number one question has been, when are they gonna have babies? My response has always been the same. Can't we give them a break? They just got married. But ever since we introduced them back in March, the two haven't been able to keep their claws off each other. It can't get much better than that. That's pretty much the best thing you could ask for in an introduction. They only breed during a certain time and the time is coming into that right now. Their focus, especially since they're together now, is gonna be on breeding and not on food. Sonny and Chompers are clearly in love. The two have been inseparable. Exactly one month after they got married, I noticed something strange. Oh no. Chompers, did you do this? She tipped over her palm tree. Then I caught her outside at night, which isn't unusual in the summer, but what was she doing? I still had no idea until it hit me. Oh my God, is that a nest? Chompers, is that a nest? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It looks like Chompers has started to build a nest. Are there eggs in the nest? Oh my gosh, look it, you guys, she's building a nest. Holy cow, she is building a nest. I can't even believe this right now. I'm like in shock. Why are we having a nest already? They just got married. Napoleon, Sonny and Chompers are moving way too fast. There is a nest, I can't even like, what are we gonna do? I can't have like 40 baby alligators in here. Oh. Oh my God. Sonny, are you, are you coming in to tell me something? Look at that. She used the stuff from her dried up altar that we put down. I'm kind of glad she's doing it there and not doing it right in the back. She did. She Look, did she put, there's two. Look, unless you did that. Look at that nest. Ow. Oh my God, I almost just slipped. Are you protecting your nest, honey? Oh boy, oh boy. It's okay. I don't know if she's hungry or she's protecting her nest. With Chompers guarding her nest, I still had to feed Sonny inside. We fed him whole prey, which is great enrichment for him. This might be sensitive to some viewers. At the same time, my wife called me and I had to break the news. Hi babe, how's it going? Oh. She built a nest in the corner, that's what she did with the palm tree, and then she built a mound that she's protecting in the corner where she was, Sam. I know, so I wanna get Danny and Savannah's authentic, hold on, if I tell you just to be, or if I'm quiet just cause Sonny's eating, I wanna get the crunch of the pig. I wanted to film us telling them because they are part of the story. And she may have already laid eggs, I'm not too sure. Two. There's two. One where the palm tree was, and she has one by the fence outside. She has two nests. During the phone conversation with my wife, Sonny decided to get out of the pool. I had to tell my wife I'd call her back because I wanted to capture Sonny eating his whole prey. Chompers is right outside by her nest. She is watching me. That's it. That's it. Notice the bubbles coming out of his eyes? That's him releasing pressure after he eats. The problem now is I need to get the food bucket. Sorry, can you go in really quick? Well, I'm happy he did it like that. Oh, that's Please. Uh, Mom, stop. It's okay. Here, Sonny, you can have the food bucket. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Sonny, you stop it right now. I want to see if Chompers is hungry too. No, I don't think she is. I don't think I would agitate her. Come here. You want some food? You want some food? Come here. Ah, it's okay. Oh, that's not hunger. She's protecting her nest. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. We left Chompers to guard her nest. I'm gonna leave your nest alone. Okay. I'm leaving it alone. And then looked at the aftermath of mom's favorite bucket. Sorry, mom. Sonny bit through the bucket. Was this your favorite bucket, mom? Yes, it was my bucket. It was one of my good buckets. With pretty good evidence Chompers had a nest, it was time to contact Auntie Savannah and Uncle Danny from Gatorland. All right, what's up, you guys? We're getting attacked. We are at Adventure Hour 
here at Gatorland. I have like some really, really, really big news. No, tell us how the wedding was. The wedding was so good, but people were wondering where you were. We didn't get the invite in the mail. We did not send mail invites, if you're wondering. That's why, that's why. You're the first people that I have, I have I've told. Let's hear it. I think Chompers has a nest. What? Yeah. Where'd they build a nest? She built two. He's testing it. Yeah, she's Corbin. testing the water to see which one she likes better. But you guys, I feel like they're moving too fast. They just got married. Well, no, it's, that's I, what love does to someone like that. I mean, at least it wasn't a shotgun wedding. What do I do? First thing to do is not mess with it yet. Don't get in there before her, though. Let her do her thing, or you might mess up the whole process. Are you trying to have a bunch of Idaho alligators? No. Would I want one for our, like, educational programs? Possibly. Right. Isn't there a chance that these eggs can't even be fertile? Yeah, there is a chance, especially for a first-time mom. If it's the mom's first time, she doesn't really know what she's doing, and plus, they haven't been together that long. All that being said, alligators are amazing and you never ever ever really know the whole process takes at least two months so there's no huge rush to get in there give it another week baby it takes about 65 days oh, for yeah. them to hatch out anyway oh. so you got some time in a week i need to go and check the nest see if there's eggs first and then you can check back with us and let us know if there are eggs and then we can guide you further and if she has eggs do you think they're fertile i say I no say, on the fertile part i say probably not what about sonny is he gonna harm the nest at all or will she keep him away He'll try to keep him away. He's kind of a, a big guy, so if he gets on top of it, if it's just sand in there, he has the potential to squish them. I'll keep you okay. up. I'm excited. All right. Congratulations. Meanwhile, back in the alligator house, I still wasn't 100% positive Chompers had laid eggs, and Sonny kept me entertained as usual. Oh, Sonny! Oh, my gosh! Sonny James! What are you doing, dude? Yep, there he is. Problem is Chompers is out there. The pool is a little low and it's green. I'd like to fill it up with the hose. I need to be careful. Can you please stay in the pool? Thank you. I had to put fresh water in their outdoor pool. And with Chompers guarding her nest, there was no way she was gonna let me in without a fight. So I went through Napoleon's yard with the water hose. She is not gonna be happy. She's not happy at all. I don't blame her though. Hi, huh, Napoleon. She has a nest. Watch her follow me as I make my way around her yard. Alligator mothers are extremely protective, one of the few reptiles that even show parental care. Her instincts have kicked in. I know you're protecting your nest. You're a good mama. How's your pool look? It's getting full. She's a lot thinner. Look how big her belly looked a week prior. Did you have eggs? All right, we're gonna get the hose back now. I see ya. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. Isn't it nice having a fuller pool? So I've been pulling weeds. She's literally watching me. I would like look up and then I'd see these cute little frog eyes. Just wait, you're gonna see the frog eyes. Hold on. Look at her little eyes right here. You see him? That's her watching me pull weeds. She's making sure I don't get close to her nest because she wants to protect that. That is her livelihood. Those are her potential offspring and she will attack anything and anyone who goes near her nest. We're gonna pick some grass and give it to Chompers for her nest. See if she'll use it for a nesting material. Auntie Savannah and Danny from Gatorland said this, so let's see what happens. See if she'll use that. Hi, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, it's okay. Let's see if Chompers will use this nesting material. I can't even get close to film without her going after me. Okay, okay. Do you think she has eggs in the nest? Comment below and subscribe for more.